Well, welcome everyone uh, on this rainy day. Thank you for coming. President's Day, I guess it is, uh, February 20th, 2017. We're still here. And uh, thank you all for coming. And I have a list here of the, it's the 59th anniversary of the peace symbol. Uh, this was um, initiated by our friend Arnie Passman, who uh, became ill, so he's not here. Uh, so we'll, but we're gonna carry on. And uh, the 59th anniversary of the peace symbol. I don't know a lot of the history of the peace symbol, but I'm assuming from the flyer, I think it started in the late 50s in England, right? Tomorrow is the actual date, okay. Thank you, Kathy. So um, I guess without further ado, I've got the list here. Are there any other people can sign up? You can talk about things or uh, about five or 10 minutes each or how long do we go? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, you can, um, up to 10 minutes. So the first person is my dear friend and activist here in Berkeley and so singer songwriter, Vic Sado. You can, I encourage you to go on his website. I imagine it's uh, uh, troubadour, vicsado.com, but also, isn't there a troubadour in there? There's a Truth Troubadour YouTube and Truth Troubadour blog. Truth Troubadour. Listen, now that we got our darling little um, Jiminy Winks, she's here, we can start. <laughs> she's more than our mascot, believe me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a peace doggy. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you just walked in, I've uh, got to tell you that our dear friend Arnie Passman, who organized this event, got sick. He's in his 80s, and he thought that that should just mean go ahead and cancel it because he's letting us down. But we said, no, we'll go open up thing, the hall and see who shows up. I don't know if he called other performers and told them not to show up. I didn't get a call, so I'm, I'm here. I showed up. And... Uh, it might open things up a little more in a way. We've got Francis Hilliard, who's going to do some poetry, a wonderful uh, BFUU poet. And uh, we have other people here that can make some statements and help make a more meaningful observation of the 59th anniversary of the peace symbol. You know, it was born out of uh, fear of nuclear devastation, complete mass destruction. And we're still facing that because the people who set up, it was first called the Ban the Bomb Movement. That's what it was. And it started, I think it started in England. We'll probably have people here uh, who know a little bit more about it than I do. Uh, although I just recently uh, am working now on a video of uh, John LaForge, Nuclear Heartland. I kind of had to put it aside to finish my own CD, which is back there, True Troubadour. But uh, I'm pretty about maybe three quarters of the way through that. and. Uh, Maybe we can talk a little bit more about John LaForge and what he's been doing. He's been going to the nuclear sites that are on the land. You know, they got these submarines with nuclear missiles going around the world and, you know, threatening people. Uh, the policy evolved into MAD, the policy of MAD, M-A-D, Mutual Assured Destruction. So what John LaForge did was he, he published a book called Nuclear Heartland, in which he showed you where all the bases were, where all the silos were. And they would, they would go there and try to get on the base and they would be arrested and there would be publicity that let people know you have a missile in your neighborhood. Things like that. And uh, very effective. So I picked a couple of songs here. Let me just kind of kick things off. And from there, we'll just try to keep it rolling. Uh, and if you need to perform and you weren't signed up before, there's a sign-up sheet right over there with uh, Cynthia, and uh, we're, you're welcome. We'll make it a very participatory event and as meaningful as we can come up with amongst ourselves. This is a Bob Dylan song I'm going to do for you, and uh, you're welcome to sing along because you probably know it. Come gather round, people, wherever you roam. Admit that the waters around you have grown. And accept that that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. Take your time to use, we're saving. 
So you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone For the times they are the changing Writers and critics and prophesize with your pen. Keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again. And don't speak too soon, for the wheel's still in spin. And there's no telling who that it's naming. For the loser today will be later to win, for the times they are the changing. Mothers and fathers throughout the land Don't criticize what you don't understand Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command The old road is rapidly aging Please get out of the new one If you can't mend a hand For the times they are a change Come senators, congressmen, be seated to call. Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall. For he that gets hurt will be he who has stalled. There's a battle outside and it's raging. It'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls for the times they are the change. The line it is drawn. Curse it is cast, slow ones now will later be last, and the present now is not soon to be past. The order is rapidly fading, and the first one now will later be last. The times they are a change. Thanks. Bob Dylan had the best anti-war songs. Uh, Phil Oaks too, but uh, here's another one I picked from Bob Dylan. This is all those liberals that want a war with Russia. You're stupid. Sorry. You didn't learn much. Come your master's war. You'd have built all the guns. You'd have built the death planes. You'd have built all the bombs. You'd have hide behind walls. You'd have hide behind desks. We just want you to know we can see through your mask. You'd have never done nothing but build to destroy. You play with our world like it's your little toy. With a gun in my son's hand. From his eyes, and you turn and run, father, when the fast bullets fly. Yeah, you're at the bank counting up your money. Federal Reserve, like Judas of old, you lie and deceive. A world war can be won. to believe we see through your eyes and we see through your brain like we see through the water that runs down the drain you fasten the triggers the others to fire and you sit back and watch as the death count gets higher, you hide in your mansions. As young people's blood goes out 
of their bodies and is buried in the mud. Well, you've thrown the worst fear that could ever be hurled. The fear to bring children into this world. You're not worth the blood that runs in your veins Come your masters of war You that build our guns You that build the drone planes You that drop all the bombs with our hearts and we pray with our minds to help make the history that leaves you behind take down those missile silos now do you realize that the, the nuclear non-proliferation treaty obliges uh, countries that sign on to it to allow inspections. Do you realize that Iran was the signatory at the beginning, has always allowed inspections, and has not attacked another country in over 200 years? Do you realize that? Do you realize that Mordecai Venunu spent 20 years in solitary prison for telling us that Israel had a secret nuclear program, the only one in the Middle East? Do you realize that? Do you realize that it's illegal for the United States to give any money, not one bloody cent, to a country that has a secret nuclear program and has not signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty? Do you realize that? No, it's not in your newspaper. Do you realize that it's obligatory for the signatories of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty who already have great arsenals of nuclear weapons it's obligatory for them to start negotiating to take them down. That's the law, okay? There's a kellogg Bryan law, which uh, our friend David Swanson has made much better known than it's been known, and that made war illegal. War is illegal. It's terrorism. And Tulsi Gabbard has put a bill in the United States Congress calling for the United States to stop funding, training, and arming terrorists. So there's, there are responsible people in the society. And it's a bipartisan bill. We need to know more about it, too. I don't know any more than that about it. Maybe uh, someone could come up and make a statement about that today. Okay? So anybody who wants to make a statement, we're going to open the floor up for that kind of thing. What countries have actually used nuclear weapons on other countries? The United States, would that include uh, depleted uranium, or are you just talking about dropping nuclear bombs? Because depleted uranium, we've spread that all over the Middle East, Afghanistan, Syria, everywhere. Libya, these places are going to have deformed babies. The crime is just immense, and as time goes by, our country's going to be blamed, you know, and, and we're the ones who didn't pay attention when Obama was doing it, you know? And now the Trump's in there, all these liberals are waking up saying, oh, and they don't even know about the NDA signings, National Defense Authorization Act signings, that what happened every New Year's Eve quietly. Uh, Obama gave all these powers to Trump. Uh, the one of them was that the right to uh, have the US military disappear you without any due process, torture you if they want, who'd ever know, or execute you. And they've, and they've actually done it. Uh, we had a, a great event here with uh, Code Pink. They uh, had a, a, a group led by, well, facilitated, she likes me to say, Toby uh, Bloom, eh? She's very modest about it. But she led a group to Pakistan, came back and showed us a lot of photos of people whose lives were decimated by these bombs, and many of them, many of them were civilians. Okay, well, I'm gonna get off the stage and let uh, Cynthia introduce somebody that's on that list. And uh, Brad is going to uh, go maybe after you because you wanted to leave. But Brad was going to do what Al, uh, uh, Arnie was going to do and kind of frame the uh, history for us a little bit. So Brad over there offered to do that for us. So there's a little bit of a method to this madness that we're doing here today. 
Uh, Karen DeWald is part of our Berkeley Fellowship community, and you are going to give us some interesting commentary. <laughs> and look, you have a... <laughs> No, she's in Texas, lives in Texas now, San Antonio. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to say, you know, we need to know what we can do about Trump because he may lead us to nuclear war. It's not that unlikely. And so there's a movement called the Indivisible Movement. You might have heard about it. It was published, the in, some info about it was published in a BFUU newsletter. And um, what they are is a grassroots movement against Trump, and it, Trump, I mean, and um, you can find information about them locally at indivisibleberkeley.org. And they need to. I think they're meeting next Saturday. Oh, uh, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I lost an album full of photos, buried in plaster and stone. But there's rubble everywhere, and I cannot pick out my own. I lost my voice long ago. I can think I am shouting for help, for mercy, that I am innocent. I don't know what you want. You stand too far away to hear. Or are these bullets your reply? I lost my child's red and yellow ball. He took it with it under fire on his way to school. We don't know if he made it there. I wish I could ask him what he wants for lunch tomorrow. I lost my silver-edged mirror. Silver one may not need, but I need the eyes of a friend to look into. And as Cynthia mentioned, I have a poem about uh, Mumia Abu Jamal. Uh, it kind of said that uh, the death penalty was changed to life in prison, but we're trying to uh, shorten that by uh, not giving them the medicine for hepatitis C. Uh, it was ordered by a court, but then they have to go through all the re hearings and. Abu means father. Mumia is a mountain so high, death seeps slowly down his bones through his cloud white cell. Mumia is a river. At night he can hear himself think, splashing speculations and visions down silent canyons of steel. Mumia is aurora borealis lighting up the heavens in strange patterns even he cannot explain. Mother loss, father hunger, Abu, Abu. Mumia looks in the mirror and sees his father. He looks around and sees boys who see him old, hair whitening above thunder cloud dreadlocks. Mumia is a, an opal in a river, flashing watery gleams as the river tumbles it over and over, thinking what to do with such a treasure. Mumia is a mirror, a volcano, the wind's laughter, a voice soothing the twilight. I repeat, Mumia is a mountain. Death slides down his back like an avalanche, uncovering spring. Fly out over the city, dove of light. Bring upon your wings our day's illumination. I have watched you arrive so many times, sneaking or strutting. I need you, but you need me as well. I pour good seed on the windowsill. Fly out over the city, dove of light. You will find many welcomes here. I wanted to state that I, I, don't, I don't know the off, or it's Whitmer or something. It's, I know it because the call number is W575 at the, in, in the San Jose Public Library. It's a, a book called The Struggle Against the Bomb, which is about the nuclear disarmament movement. If you want to know more about it, I halfway through the book, I'll be, I don't know, I, I probably expect to finish it Next weekend at Stanford Library because they don't have volume three at San Jose Public. That's all. Oh, okay. Thank you, Brian. Um, well, uh, our next person is she's everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Well, I was told it was canceled, so I went home after being in the neighborhood, so then I had to come back, so just catching my breath here. Yeah. So um, just to let you know, um, I started a website called the Progressive Majority Creative Network, and it's for any activist performers, if they 
have a website, they can link to it. If they don't have a website, it, it can be their website. And they can have a page on there, let people know what rallies they can play at, what their activist interests are, and uh, hopefully start getting uh, event organizers to look at the website and find people. Because if you search like Berkeley, you can get all the Berkeley musicians. So um, the progressive majority creative network. We really wanted the word majority in there. So um, here's a couple of songs that, uh, this one here I wrote during, uh, what, four days after Bush was reselected. And uh, I was at Kimball's East over at, uh, in Emeryville and Vakani Muwetu was having a CD release party and everybody was just walking around stunned. And uh, I was with Freedom Song Network and we got up and sang hopeful songs and then Vukani Chorus got up and I said, you know, Nelson Mandela was in jail 27 years and came out to be president of the country and I refuse to believe we're going down. And so I started writing this song and I stayed up and finished it that night and it's called I Refuse to Believe. So every time you hear I Refuse to Believe, please join me. I refuse to believe that the light which we share is dimming. I refuse to believe that the good which we do will fail. I refuse to believe that the righteous will be defeated or our vitality be depleted. I refuse to believe I refuse to believe that our strides are inconsequential. I refuse to believe that our energies will be drained. I refuse to believe even in our bleakest moment that our force is less than potent. I refuse to believe, for I believe we are connected to a universal power that cannot be held back for very long. And even though the forces of darkness are all around us, we will prevail if we don't curtail our song. I refuse to believe that the light which we share is dimming. I refuse to believe that the good which we do will fail. I refuse to believe that the righteous will be defeated. Or our vitality be depleted I refuse to believe Cause I believe that we are rising With others who are surmising That caring and compassion Are the key And we are large in numbers strong in spirit and we will not betray our humanity I refuse to believe that our strides are inconsequential I refuse to believe that our energies will be drained I refuse to believe even in our bleakest moment that our force is less than potent I refuse to believe I refuse to believe I refuse to believe I refuse to believe, believe. Thank you So 
this is a song that I originally wrote because we were having this event in Berkeley about a week after the election where they asked people to come to the park and make a human peace sign and, and be together. And it was really wonderful and very inspiring. And I wrote a song about the event and I came up with a chorus that was more universal than the event actually. And um, so I have a video of, of the Berkeley version of this song, but I rewrote the song so that hopefully we can sing it everywhere and that it's uh, a universal thing. And the first line about that was coming together in the park and the first verse of this is about the women's march. And, and here's the chorus. We will rise together. We'll be wise together. We will watch the winter turn into the spring. Together, we'll hold hands together. We will band together. We'll breathe in and out as one. And we will rise, rise, rise. Our hearts will pound as one. And we will rise, rise, rise. Millions rose upon their feet as they marched into the street to stir their souls and make their voices heard. In our cities, large and small, young and old answered the call to show the world the best side of America. We will rise together, we'll be wise. We'll be wise together. We will watch the winter turn into the spring. Together, we'll hold hands together. We will band together. We'll breathe in and out as one, and we will rise, rise, rise. Our hearts will pound as one, and we will rise, rise, rise. We must not yield to fear. We must keep our message clear. We must rise above the darkness to where our love lights beam. We must protect the rights of all within our sight. Remember, most of us are here because an immigrant had a dream. We will rise together. We'll be wise together. We will watch the winter turn into the spring. Together, we'll hold hands together. We will band together. We'll breathe in and out as one. And we will rise, rise, rise. Our hearts will pound as one. And we will rise, rise, rise. Now all across the country, folks are talking to each other as we share the need for caring so that we can carry on. We never will give in, so collectively we'll win. For the darkest night becomes the new light of a breaking dawn. We will rise together. We'll be wise together. We will watch the winter turn into the spring. Together, we'll hold hands together. We will bend together. We'll breathe in and out as one, and we will rise, rise, rise. Our hearts will pound as one, and we will rise, rise, rise. Our next, our next item.
Garden is communal singing. And this is our communal uh, <laughs> person. And we sing every Monday at uh, 4 o'clock, oh, right? Okay. Over there at Solano. Oh, it's Solano, except for rainy days. For rainy so what did you want to do? We're just going to sing. Down by the riverside? Is that what's the word? Yeah. That's a good one. We all know it. <laughs> oh, we'll do fill logs. We sure do. Gonna lay down my sword and shield. Come on. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. I don't want to be up on the mic.
flowers gone? Somebody. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Young girls picked them, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young girls gone? time ago where have all the young girls gone gone to young men everyone when will they ever learn when will they ever learn where have all the young men gone singing, you don't have to clap. <laughs> Maybe one more? Anybody got one? Well, we did I Ain't Marching Anymore. I know, Draft Dodge Rag. I'm just a typical American boy from a typical American town. I believe in God and Senator Dodd and keeping old Castro down. And when it came my time to serve, I said better than the friend. But when I got to my old draft board, well, this is what I said. Sarge, I'm only 18 and got a ruptured spleen and I always carry a purse. Got eyes like a bat, my feet are flat, and my asthma's getting worse. Well, think of my career, my sweetheart dear, and my poor old invalid aunt. Size ain't no fool, I've been going to school, and I'm working in a defense plan. I got a dislocated hip and a racked up back. I'm allergic to flowers and bugs. I get epileptic fits, and when the bombshell hits, I get epileptic fits, and I'm addicted to a thousand drugs. Got the weakness woes, can't touch my toes, can hardly reach my knees. And if the enemy came close to me, well, I'd probably start to sneeze. Cause I'm only 18, I got a ruptured spleen, and I always carry a purse. Got eyes like a bat, my feet are flat, and my asthma's getting worse. Well, think of my career, my sweetheart dear, and my poor old invalid aunt. Besides, I ain't no fool, I'm a going to school, and I'm a working in a defense. 
Fed's playing Hey Chow in line I hope he dies But I know you gotta see That someone's gotta go over there And that someone is in me So wish him well, Sarge Give him hell and kill me a thousand or so And if you ever get a war without blood and gore Well, I'll be the first to go Cause I'm only 18 I got a ruptured spleen And I always carry a purse eyes like a bat and my feet are flat and my asthma's getting worse. Well, think of my career, my sweetheart dear, and my poor old invalid aunt. Besides, ain't no fool, I'm going to school and I'm working in a defense plan. So let's all, let's all build a better world here. That's a good one to end with. Yeah. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning, I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters. So back in 2006, I used to live on Telegraph Avenue and um, in this building that was built by the Masons back in the day. And I had this vision that I would build a peace sign that was like 30 feet in diameter using those tall leader water bottles and then put um, a laser cord around the perimeter on the interior of those bottles and erected across the street high, like 20 feet in the air on poles. And then I could shoot the laser from my living room window across and then illuminate the peace sign. And I worked on different designs on where I should place it around Berkeley. And then one of them I thought might be erected high above People's Park, and I could actually, you can turn it, put it on this pivoting thing so you could, act, people in planes could actually see the peace sign, or you can make it flat, or you can make it horizontal, or you can make it vertical. And then I thought that 
because there was a guy, an artist once that put up a wall of sheets over the hills somewhere. I thought it would be cool to have it on the highway um, going up north on one of the hills on the west side, erected a huge illuminated peace sign so when people were driving as they came, they'd go, oh yeah, you want to keep going and there's a peace sign on the right, you know you're going in the right direction, right? <laughs> it would be cool and it would be really a cool thing to have a community come together and build this big round and then we just work on the logistics on uh, design on how we would suspend it or put it up, rig it, and um, it would be pretty cool. Well, anyway. Yeah, you know, like, uh, well, for a long time, Code Pink would be on the bridge down there and we'd yeah. hold up signs. And of course, this could be, yeah. you could get a permanent, the big peace sign on the hills, like the Hollywood sign for Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so when anybody came to Berkeley, yeah. so uh, we'd have to work with the Parks and Rec, I suppose, because we got to get some. Yeah. But that but, uh, you can see it from the uh, air. Yeah. Well, every yeah, be cool. starts. I know. It would be a great art installation, I think. Yeah, well, you, you know, Christo was that artist who did yeah. kind of crazy, I mean, he did crazy things. He did yeah. creative things, but this would be a little more, uh, you know, heartfelt about peace. Right, right. And yeah. then, you know, because then maybe it's great. Anyway, it's a great, beautiful. Right, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. Anyway. And here, you know, like a number of things have started. I mean, things start small, like the anti apartheid movement, just yeah. people. And so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I have to learn all the time because. You gave that salute, that 59th anniversary. That's so, well, have a big one right Remember this date for next year, February 20th, 2018. We're all hoping Arnie gets better and we'll be here next year for the 60th.